I'm Mike Nelson. You may have heard about that dust cloud coming off the Sahara Desert and blowing toward the Western Hemisphere. At lower latitudes close to the equator, the prevailing winds aren't from west to east, but are from east to west. And so we oftentimes will get clouds of sand and dust coming off the Sahara. This is a particularly large one, and it's moving across the Atlantic Ocean and heading toward the United States. And it's been pushing into the Caribbean. It's dust up the sky quite a bit across the southeastern part of the United States. And can, if it's not too thick, give you some really pretty sunsets like we oftentimes get when we have wildfire smoke. But if it gets too thick, everything's just sort of a, a tannish gray. So that's where it was early today. And let me show what's going to happen next as far as where that dust cloud goes in the next couple of days. Not really going to impact Colorado very much. It kind of swirls across Texas, eastern Kansas, and then out across the eastern part of the country. So I don't think we'll really notice any impact. What will impact our weather? Thunderstorms coming our way as a cold front pushes into the state. You can see a lot of activity across Colorado right now, and it looks like we'll see that off and on for the next 24 hours as this front pushes through higher humidity in the area. And with that, a better chance of thunderstorms and cooler temperatures, overnight lows, upper 50s, Denver, Greeley, Fort Collins, in the 40s, mostly in the mountains, although Leadville, once again, the cool spot with just 37, and then 70 for high at Leadville on Friday, 80 Fort Collins, Greeley, Denver at 78 degrees. Uh, you're out and about forecast, though, it will be a stormy day Friday afternoon with temperatures in the upper 70s, thunderstorms likely. Some of those storms could be severe. So our storm threat is high uh, for lightning winds, hail, and heavy rain, although I think they'll be fairly fast moving storms, but a very good chance of storms coming up on Friday, and then it'll be less as we get into the weekend. As far as mowing the lawn then, Friday I'd say is a no, Saturday maybe, there'll be some scattered storms. Sunday, Monday looks like good lawn mowing days with hot, dry weather returning.